So you guys want to be safe on a backpacking trip. I really don't see a lot of videos on this topic. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna to talk to you about just a couple ways that I end up being safe when I backpack. I've just been backpacking enough that I've kinda of got a system down about how I can be safe when I backpack, and I wanna give you just some tips on what I do, because I think it's probably gonna help some of you guys out, because I think there's a lot of newer backpackers that maybe don't like to backpack a ton, or maybe you're nervous to go out for your first trip or whatever, because you're just afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of something happening. You've heard all the horror stories. You heard about bears sneaking in tents and eating people and uh, mountain lions uh, grappling with hikers and all kinds of stuff so today I'm gonna share some of my tips for you but I am just so scared to backpack you know all the bears and the storms and what if I get lost and what if I like drop something down a, a, a hole <laughs> okay before you keyboard warriors go nuts and you super preppers go nuts and you survivalists go nuts in the comments I want to just be completely open and honest with you guys and tell you I am absolutely not an expert in this field. I just have backpacked enough to know that there are some simple things that you can do to make your trip a little bit safer. If you guys out there want to be nice in the comments, be nice in the comments below. Make sure you do that and then help other people out and give us some tips and some of your thoughts on how other people can be safe out in the backcountry. So two weeks ago, I sent a text message to Jason, the best backpacker, because I saw one of his awesome videos, and I said, Jason, would you consider making me some awesome gear? And here was what he said. Wait, what's that? Is that a message? Who's that message from? Holy cow, it's from Dan Becker. Holy cow, Dan Becker wants some of Jason's, some of the best backpackers, crazy creative gear that he makes? Well, I'll tell you what, I've been working on a secret project, and I think it's perfect for Dan Becker. Dan Becker, I'm on it. You got some of the best backpackers, creative crazy gear coming your way. When he made that video, I got really excited, and he sent me something in the mail. All the way from California. I'm excited to check this out. Jason, let's see what you made. <laughs> but that already looks awesome. What is it? Oh, nice. This is awesome. It's a fanny pack. What do we got inside? Another fanny pack. A camel version. And what do we got? <laughs> Another one. What is this? Another fanny pack. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Another one. This is this is probably the one. This is probably one I wouldn't take on the trail myself. Man, look at the quality. This is really actually very cool. I'm gonna guess, tell me if I'm wrong, this is for me and this would be for my three kids. Am I right on that? That's awesome, Jason. This is super cool. I'm actually really, really impressed. I was not expecting this at all. Jason, that was my honest reaction to you giving me this stuff. I really appreciate it. I'm glad I text messaged you. Guys, please go check out Jason. I know a couple weeks ago I talked about him. I put something in the community, posted him. I was his second subscriber. That's how much I think this guy is gonna do well on YouTube. He's a great guy, I've been talking to him quite a bit. Make sure you go check out Jason. If you've only checked out his videos, go back over there and subscribe. Get over there and subscribe! It's even padded on the back. Was not expecting this. Anyway, back to the video. <laughs> Let me talk to you about some ways to be safe on the trail. Super cool gear, super cool. All right, number one, how I end up being safe on the trail, and I think everybody is already doing this, but I just wanna kind of give you what I do. I carry the Adventure Medical Kit 5 bag only. Everything inside is completely modified. I have 
uh, talked about this in another video. Um, I will make a separate video on this medical kit. Make sure you take a medical kit. Um, make sure it's only stuff that you know how to use. So, I mean, if you're planning on bringing the trauma kit or like the, you know, the whatever else that comes in extreme medical kits, make sure you know how to use it because otherwise you're just kind of bringing stuff that you don't know how to use. It's unnecessary. If something happens, it's going to be completely useless to you. But I will open this up on a separate video for you guys so you can kind of see what I bring. If you want to just go out and get a medical kit you're just like man I don't want to have to deal with making my own I just want to buy one this is a fantastic medical kit it's the adventure medical kit 5 I will put a link in the description to all of this stuff below so you can go check this out yourself you can order this on Amazon it is a really inexpensive and a very very good medical kit for somebody who just wants to go out and get a medical kit the second way to stay safe for me is I always bring some sort of a fire kit and I mainly bring the fire kit really honestly just so I could have fires at night I don't like expect to get stranded out there by any means at all but um, if it's cold it's nice to have a warm fire to keep you you know your body temperature up if you do get cold it camp one way to just get warmed up really quick is to get out and do some jumping jacks or some camp chores or something like that but it's always nice to get around the fire what I bring with me are esbit cubes esbit cubes are an amazing invention that have been around for a very very long time they double as fuel to get your pot boiling water they'll boil at least two cups of water these things will burn for about 10 minutes I bring one per day that's just so I can you know have a fire if I want to and maybe if I did run out of fuel I've never run out of fuel but if I did I could use this as a fuel source for my food so I always bring some sort of a fire starter with me hey another real quick hack for you that'll kind of do the same thing if you want to be able to have a quick fire starter go get a cotton ball get some petroleum jelly douse that cotton ball soak it in petroleum jelly stick it in a plastic bag and then when you want to start a fire you can just pull it out light that cotton ball on fire it'll burn for about seven or eight minutes and it'll help you get that kindling going if you want to be a little bit less messy what i do is i actually wrap that cotton ball after it's doused in petroleum jelly in aluminum foil and it just makes a nice little ball and then when i get to the fire source i cut open a little slot on the aluminum foil pull out the cotton like a wick and i can light it it works really really good hey question of the day what kind of fire starter do you guys bring do you bring a fire starter? Do you plan on starting fires when you get out to camp? Or are you just way too tired when you get there, you're just ready to crash and go to sleep? Let us know down in the comments below. Number three, make sure you know the weather ahead of time. Make sure you've checked out the weekend. Make sure you've got a plan for that weather. But what I do is if it tells me that the weather's gonna be, you know, 50 degrees and rainy, I plan for like 35 degrees and like sleet or something like that. I always make sure I plan a little bit more extreme because I can't tell you how many times I've been out in the back country and it wasn't supposed to rain and it did, or it wasn't supposed to get below a certain temperature and it did. And it's always good to just prepare a little bit more for those extreme weather situations that can possibly come up. Another thing to do with weather is make sure you're layering your clothing. So what I do is I just bring like all synthetic layers. So I'll get some sort of a polyester, uh, synthetic shirt i'll then put my standard red plaid button-up columbia fishing performance gear shirt then i'll also wear like my north face quarter zip then i'll wear a puffy jacket over the top of that and i make sure that i can layer myself so that way i'm not always super super warm or super super cold there's always that happy middle ground and that way i can kind of regulate the temperature as i go on so make sure you know the weather ahead of time and prepare for it to get worse than it says and finally number four when you make your plan stick to it so what you want to do is make sure you notify people where you're going what trails you're taking where you're going to be camping at so that way if something actually does go south and it's probably really really rare that that actually happens but if it does go south and if it's just that comfort thing somebody's gonna know hey they didn't text me when they said they were going to they didn't you know uh, call when they got to the campsite um, if there was no cell phone signal it's been just too long something's wrong they at least know the trails that you took they know the campsite they know the area and stick to that don't go veering off it too much. And if you are gonna veer off it, make sure you have a way to tell somebody how you're gonna do that. 
I always bring three forms of navigation with me. I'll go online and I'll make sure I download one of the maps from the area of where I'm going to, or I'll make sure I hit that ranger station or that park station and get a map from them, and I've got a paper map. Then I always make sure that I have a compass with me. My watch is a G-Shock Golf Master. It's got a built-in compass, altimeter, barometer, gives me a lot of great information. If the barometric pressure changes, this will actually sound an alarm and will notify me of that so that I can prepare for that weather that could potentially be coming. And then I always have my phone with me and I have downloaded apps and I pre-download maps to the area because I don't want to be relying on data when I get out there. I want to make sure that I've got the maps that I need ready to go on here. All right, guys, that's it. That's just how I stay safe. Make sure you check out Jason, the best backpacker. He's got some awesome gear. Thanks again, Jason, for what you sent me. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released, and I will see you on the next one. Bring in the fanny pack, 